We've been doing that. We've got to continue to do it. And, uh, you know, uh, Congress, uh, we have to pass the national security spending package now. Our House members are being somewhat reluctant. And hopefully it's uh, more politics than real. But uh, including funding for Ukraine and uh, to help them continue to be able to defend themselves against the brutal aggression of Russia. But uh, I want to thank you all off for your leadership from the very beginning. And you've done something no one thought could get done. You've doubled Germany's military aid to Ukraine this year. And, uh, and also uh, the latest developments in the Middle East, including Today, we'll also discuss the work to just that we're going to be doing together to strengthen NATO ahead of the 75th NATO summit this summer here, so you got to come back. And, uh, and also, uh, the latest development in the Middle East, including hostage release, we have negotiations going on, increase in life-saving humanitarian assistance to, to, to civilians in Gaza Strip and uh, preserve uh, the space for an enduring peace for a two-state solution down the road. I think it's possible. It a lot of work, but I think we can do it. ...of its neighbors, just imperialism, imperialism, and I think it is necessary that we do all our best to support Ukraine and... Uh, ...Germany was ready to increase its uh, support with weapon delivery, and hopefully uh, the Congress will, the House will follow you and uh, make a decision on giving the necessary support because without the support of the United States and without the support of the European states, Ukraine will have not a chance to defend its own country. And to give them the chance to, I really think that it's very good that we are working together looking at uh, the situation in the Middle East and especially working on the two-state solution which is necessary for a lasting peace. And uh, I'm sure that the United States and Germany are aligned intensely. Not to support Ukraine is close to criminal neglect. It is outrageous.